Hey guys, hope all is well. Um, I missed last week for my Star Wars Celebration countdown video, but uh, yeah, just didn't really have a lot to talk about last week. So here I am this week. Um, as according to my app, we have 35 days, 5 hours, and 39 minutes until Star Wars Celebration in Orlando kicks off. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a busy week. Lots of announcements and stuff are really starting to creep up now in terms of guests. Um, there were a few guests uh, last week: uh, Peter Mayhew, Daniel Logan, and Ray Park. So, you know, Peter Mayhew obviously playing Chewbacca. Um, got to meet him down here in Australia uh, back in late 2015. So that was fantastic. Um, he was an absolute absolute gentleman. Fantastic to meet him, um, and I'm very excited to hopefully meet. Daniel Logan and Ray Park. Um, everyone says everyone says nothing but great things about both those guys. So I'm really hoping to meet those guys. Um, and just today being, what is the date? I just lose track of it so many times. 9th of March, as of today, Thursday, the 9th of March. Um, they announced that Dave Filoni will be there. Um, he's going to be obviously conducting a Rebels panel, um, probably outlining some basics for season four. Now that that's confirmed that's coming. I don't think it was ever in doubt. Um, not, there's not many episodes left and I doubt they would wrap up a season within with four four episodes to go or something. So, um, yeah, who else did they announce? I, I just, I should just look at my phone that way. I don't sit here for ages trying to think. Um, Billy D. Williams is going to be there. Obviously, Lando Calrissian. That's, he'd probably be on the, on the, on the list. Um, Vanessa Marshall, who plays, voices Hera on Rebels. She's, she'd be really cool to meet. Alan Tudyk, uh, K2SO, he'd be hilarious. And uh, Matthew Wood's going to be there as well. So, you know, Matthew Wood, the guy that does all the sound design and everything for all the films and series and stuff. So, it's pretty exciting. Um, had a, finally got a bit of back and forth with one of the tattoo artists that I emailed. And it looks like I'll be getting tattooed on the Sunday. Um, that's really exciting. We're yet to... Forward, forward her a deposit um, so we'll hopefully do that in the next day or two is shoot her a deposit so that way it's booked in and confirmed basically so I can sort of I guess I can talk talk about it now um, so on the inside of my left arm I'm gonna get Han Solo's blaster the DL44 and a little bit of a banner saying never tell me the odds um, and then I'll probably start working on a bit of a half sleeve there with other tattoos in the future. Um, probably do a do a good guy, good guy Star Wars sleeve, and maybe have like a space battle going on somewhere. I don't know yet. I haven't really thought of much else, but I really want that. So um, coming all the way to the US from Australia, I think it'd be awesome to take home a reminder, like a long term reminder of my trip and the awesomeness that will be Star Wars Celebration. Um, so that's very exciting, and I've just sort of been picking up a few bits and pieces for the for the event and my holiday and stuff. Found this Darth Vader luggage tag the other day, or a couple of weeks ago now. So that's pretty cool. I'll have that on my suitcase so it stands out at the airport, at the airports. So that's pretty cool. Haven't added my name or anything yet, but yeah, it's got those little details. Um, speaking of autographs and stuff. I picked up one of these, it's just a little um, document carry case, um, so any like signed photos or anything that stops them from getting, uh, you know, creases in, in your bag or whatever you're carrying, so you grab one of these and all your documents are safe inside that sort of hard case, so I had to grab one of them, and of course a selection of, oh, I just grabbed a selection of uh, Sharpie markers. Got a gold, silver, and a black. So you never know who you're going to bump into, and um, yeah, <laughs> speaks for itself. Really, you never know who you're going to bump into. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, apart from that, it's been been pretty quiet. Um, it's just yeah, it's really dawning on how close it is now. Um, I've got four more weeks of work. I think it's about four more weeks of work. So I've got. About 20 days of work, 24 days of work or something, I can't remember. Um, so that's going to fly and go slow at the same time, you know. <laughs> Being excited, it's going to go slow, but 
work's extremely busy, so it's it's good because that's going to go quick. Um, work always goes goes faster when you when you're flat out. So and we've been really busy, so that's good. It means time's going to go quick. Um, we're pretty much ready to go. We're excited. We can't wait. Um, I'm just relieved to turn off my work alarm for four weeks. <laughs> I haven't had four weeks off in the last ten years. I think. Um, since since I was at school, I haven't had that many weeks off straight. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for the for, for the moment. Um, yeah, yeah, getting very close. Um, they did also announce that they're going to be having a celebration in 2019. So it looks like they might be skipping out on 2018 at this stage. My guess is because the Han Solo movie is going to come out in the May, so it's probably hard to have it all winding up for that, but um, then again, episode nine's meant to come out in the May of 2019, so who knows what they're gonna do at this stage. Um, and whether those films get pushed to December again, who knows, we're not sure yet. Um, so we'll see if they've got any plans for 2018. Um, can't be too sure yet whether they do a mini convention like they've used to do with fan days and Star Wars weekends, who knows, we'll find out soon. Um, but yeah, that's about it guys, quick update, 34, 35-ish days to go, so getting very close, um, if anything pops up in the next couple of weeks, I'll be sure to have a little update, so thanks for watching guys, until my next one, may the force be with you.